I woke up this morning and I was doing some YouTube work and I noticed that Hench Herbivore, which is also a vegan bodybuilder and personal trainer and makes videos on vegan nutrition and also the ethical side of veganism and he's very like-minded to me and I really like the content that he makes. I saw that he'd uploaded this video a day ago called Over Message to Tim Sheaf. The next stage is for me to K an animal myself. I'm not going to say the word because it could demonetize my video, which obviously this is a very shocking quote that caught my attention and many other people's attention as well, because apparently this is what Tim Sheaf said in a recent interview with Times, which is a magazine which also does a Sunday Times and they have a website called thetimes.co.uk. UK and there's a variety of different vegan news websites that have talked about this but they didn't seem to talk that much about what was in the article at least from what I've seen because I looked at the article fully that was done by Times which you can see here and it's titled Tim Sheaf the vegan pinup with a guilty secret he was eating eggs and salmon and this is a very very long article as you can see here and you actually have to sign up with your payment information to actually view the whole thing so they only get you well they only allow you to see a little bit so I'm not going to go through the whole thing but what I'm going to do is stop on certain parts that I want to talk about in this video and this is not going to be a hate video towards Tim whatsoever it's just me sharing my own personal opinion and at the same time it's not just about me saying sharing my own personal opinion I want you to be able to see the full article because not everyone's going to sign up with their payment details to actually view this so yeah Tim Sheaf the vegan pinup was a guilty secret he was eating eggs and salmon well it wasn't a guilty secret to be honest he came out of it soon after and he felt really bad about it and you can see that in a video when he first talked about him eating eggs and salmon after not thriving on a vegan diet for quite some time and he thought that's what he needed to do to start feeling healthy again and then they got this subtitle tim sheaf was called the vegan prince by his youtube fans now they tell him to go k himself and what i'm going to do is like i said i'm not going to read out the whole article but so you can view the whole article. I'm going to go through it all and stop briefly at certain parts, even if I'm not going to read anything out for it. So you can read the whole full article by watching this video and not having to sign up with this news website. So they go on to talk about him being a ninja warrior here. They talk about all the performance acrobatics he's done, mid air twists, and that he was a high profile outspoken champion of veganism. And a lot of vegans were saying he, that he was making a name for veganism, which he definitely was, and that he was dubbed the vegan prince. And then you see this quite shocking quote. The next stage for me is to K an animal myself. I've got really, well, I've got to really face this. And this is the main thing that most people are focusing upon. So it's obviously quite a shocking quote to come out from Tim Sheep, especially as he used to be a vegan for so long and a lot of people thought that he actually cared about the animals and I can't understand why they think he doesn't care about the animals, especially because he's eating them now, saying things like that. And yeah, that something definitely caught my attention as well. And then they go on that, well, they go on to say that he displayed extraordinary physical strength and agility, but that was not the full story. And he had declining health for three years and came to the conclusion that veganism was making him sick, which that is based on his own personal opinion. Because as we know, there's many people that have not been thriving on a vegan diet that have quit because they thought they need animal foods to thrive on a vegan diet and then they started thriving on whatever animal-based diet they've been eating. But there's a lot of people that have not been thriving, got help from certain health experts out there, such as Goji Man, started getting the tests and supplements they needed to actually get done to work out what the solution was for them to actually resolve what health issues and symptoms they had on a vegan diet. So they can stand it and not go back to animal foods. And we know that Tim Sheaf for a few at one point to get help from Goji Man to resolve the issues that he had on a vegan diet he said it was so complex and complicated even though he first went in the direction to start doing tests with him he then went in another direction of no longer getting help from him but that was his own personal choice and as it says here he built a vegan clothing brand and he posted uncompromising videos about the evils of eating animals and that fury followed from many vegans was startling in its ferocity with some wishing upon him a fate that 
they would not consider for any beast. And they said that because he started eating animal products and started mentioning that on his YouTube channel. I could understand why people would yeah feel that way and say things like that. And then a quote says here, K yourself was a simple instruction in one message he recalls receiving another, said, if I saw in the street, I'd spit on you. So yeah, a lot of violent communication and I'm all about Ahimsa, which is a non-violent lifestyle towards everyone and everything in this world as much as I possibly can. Which to say there's a lot of vegans out there just very angry vegans, they're not compassionate, empathic people and they just hate on them, be very angry. And then it pushes so many people away. I know that if in the past when I used to be known vegan, people came across in a way that was aggressive and angry towards me, I wouldn't like it at all and this is why I'm not being angry in this video or any videos that I make on this type of topic. They called me a fraud and said I never cared. This is at least what Tim Sheaf said when they were interviewing him on what has been going on with him. And then it goes on to say about the things vegans said were to blame for him not thriving on a vegan diet, especially the 35 day water fast. And then they talk about all the different films that he's been in and the World Free Running Championships. They talk about how many YouTube subscribers he's got and about his YouTube channel and about the ethical clothing company that, well, he's no longer a part of because he got removed from that clothing company. They go on to say he also made loads of videos on veganism in the past, really promoting it. And that he was not as healthy as people thought he was, even though he was on Ninja Warrior at a time when he said he was not actually thriving, which we found out in certain videos late last year when he started coming out about his health not being so good. Talk about the different diets that he was on. And yeah, they just go on and on and on about his whole journey with veganism and what he's done for veganism, which is, yeah, really good that they're going to a lot of detailed information on this. This must be one of the most extensive interviews that anyone has done with Tim Sheaf since he has gone back to eating animal foods. And he goes on to say he started studying the cancer of former vegans who started eating animal products and they found that they were getting the healing that he was looking for. So this is what had an effect on him to open up his mind, you could say, to the potential and possibility of actually eating animal-based foods. And that's when he started eating eggs and salmon and he had some issues going on here, which I'm not going to read out. Um, but yeah. You can see that by what I've just highlighted. And that he started feeling like a teenager again. His brain fog was lifted. And he said he was somewhat idiosyncratic way of speaking. It says that the universe was guiding him to do what myself and my inner self, higher self needed to do. Animal products he realized were a necessity. We're all spout this propaganda. You're thriving on a vegan diet. That wasn't true for me. And yes, he wasn't thriving on a vegan diet. But it wasn't necessarily the vegan diet to blame due to certain extreme things he did, such as a 35 day water fast that he thought would heal and resolve his issues and actually didn't. Then they go on to say about his confession in a video that he made in, v in November, talking about him eating eggs and salmon. I'm sure many of you have seen that video. And he goes on to say, it's amazing how much powerful a negative comment is than a positive, but it has made me feel more sovereign and liberated to be so understood, yet I'm still okay, Tim Shee says. I've had some dirty looks around Shoreditch, but no one's done anything in, in person. And what he's responding to there is the response of many vegans range from disappointment to rage. He's been accused of betrayal, self-absorption and losing his mind. And yeah, he said it's made him more sovereign and liberated to be so misunderstood. Yet I said, okay, yet he started deleting certain videos that he's made on this whole journey. So he's not necessarily okay, because why would you go in direction of deleting those videos? And he said he had hope that FX, which was a clothing brand that was evolving, could broaden its focus for veganism to more general ethical consumerism. But his colleagues, who are all vegan, put him right on this, and he severed his association with the company this year, which is completely understandable. They created this vegan clothing company who's no longer vegan, so why would he still be a part of that? And then he goes on to talk about friends, how some of them are blaming it on him and certain things that he's done to not thrive on a vegan diet. Other ones are more understanding than others. And yeah, it just goes on about the whole vegan community and certain things that's gone on since he announced being vegan. And yeah, as you can see, this article is very, very, very long. Uh, 
And as it says here, Shim, Tim Sheaf is now an omnivore who will occasionally eat a steak if it comes from a local cow. This is one thing that a lot of people focus upon. I think a cow grass-fed could be the most vegan product in terms of food because one animal can sustain someone for three months. What the hell are you saying, Tim? No wonder why people think you're crazy. I'm sorry, man, but if you did actually say this and they're not lying about this in this article, I think a cow grass-fed could be the most vegan product in terms of food because one animal could sustain someone for three months. How can it be most vegan product because it could sustain someone for three months? That doesn't make any sense at all. The animal still was against its will when it wanted to live had its life ended. Veganism is about living a completely non-violent lifestyle. It doesn't matter if they're grass-fed, organic, pasture-raised, fairy sprinkled, godlike infused, whatever. It's just it doesn't make it vegan and it said that's a bold claim but he's considering taking ultimate responsibility for any flesh he consumes which is good that he's taking responsibility because you should be i do feel like the next stage is for me to k an animal myself i've got to really face this which that again has he lost his marbles i'm sorry brother but i don't i don't understand why you feel the next stage for you is to k an animal why do you need to face that I guess maybe this is him going through some sort of process that, yeah, because he's now paying for animals, well, people to harm an animal's lives and him consuming them, that he feels that if he's going to pay for that, he needs to be able to actually do it to himself. So then he feels better about actually eating animals. At least that's what I would think in my own head. And that's why I'm coming out of now. What's your thoughts on that? But... Yeah, I don't think that's going to be a really nice thing to do, Tim, whatsoever. It's not really within our natural instinct to go out and harm an animal. Okay, if we are lost in a forest and we're there for weeks and months and months and we can't find any plant-based foods, then yeah, maybe in that rare situation we may have to go and eat an animal. But in today's world, we have the choice to not eat animal-based foods and thrive on a vegan diet. If we get help from the right experts out there that can do the right tests and share the right information with us that actually works rather than trying out certain things when you're not a health expert and messing up your health even further than doing a 35 day water fast that didn't work for you and offering well refusing people's help that could actually get your results and at the end of this it just says in one of his videos explaining why he started eating meat again after years of fiercely promoting veganism she said that maybe he should not talk about things so certainly in the future which i can agree with so many times i said i will never do this and I will always do this and yeah a lot of time it's just as good to say at this present moment I'm doing this but it may change in the future nevertheless he's been pretty outspoken now good point he says looking a little uncertain of himself for the first time he quickly rails though me speaking my truth helps the greater good I feel which is good that he's been transparent and not hiding things from people unlike Rolvana that had been eating fish and other animal based foods for ages and hiding it from people and then she got found out and then she had to come out about it so yeah it's good uh, that he's speaking his truth he says it's going to stir up things but a lot of people feel guilt from their friends for not being vegan a lot of humans are made outcasts well are being made out to be outcasts should it even say which yeah that does happen a lot of time in the vegan movement a lot of people are just not understanding that people are where they are on their journey. And yes, it's not okay in any situation to harm animals. But we need to take an approach that is not going to emotionally trigger people as much as possible, where they feel defensive and they just want to run or hide. And then they say like things such as all vegans are angry and aggressive and it just closes them off to the potential, well... To the potentiality of actually opening up to eating a vegan diet and then eating a vegan diet and i remember before i got on a vegan diet i just thought all vegans were angry and i didn't understand why i didn't know the full picture about veganism so that's just something i wanted to share so that's it for this video if you have any questions on anything i should do in this video leave them down below if you like the video like down below give us a thumbs up if you don't give us a thumbs down please share this video with anyone else you think needs to watch this important video that i've done a response to this interview with Tim Sheaf on the Sunday Times. 
and um, please hit that subscribe button down below to receive a lot more videos like this on a regular basis and other videos on veganism, eating a high carb diet, weight loss, intermittent fasting, calisthenics, building muscle, and many other different things as well. So this type of video is saying good to you. Make sure you click the subscribe button down below and you click the bell notification button next to the subscribe button. Otherwise YouTube will not notify you of when new videos are uploaded and I have new ones coming almost every single day. So as always, stay happy, stay healthy, and enjoy the rest of your day. Peace.